Mr. Speaker, we do not need to choose between lives and livelihoods. We do not need to choose between a healthy community and a healthy economy. We do not need to choose between money, money and lives or profit over people. I trust the people of Pennsylvania. I trust them to protect themselves, their loved ones, their family, their neighbors. I trust the businesses of Pennsylvania to protect their employees, their associates, their clients, their customers, and their supply chains. The list that the governor put out at first was flawed and illogical. You remember hotels and laundromats were on the list to be closed. A little close to seven hours later, hotels and laundromats were put back on. And to be clear, there was no waiver process in place when the list was first came out. It was a result of calls from members of this General Assembly that the governor and the administration decided to create a waiver process, a waiver process that is clearly capricious and arbitrary. Mr. Speaker, I have businesses in my district, competitors, one granted a waiver, one denied a waiver. In fact, we've learned stories this week about businesses that accidentally hit the waiver process question button twice and receive both a waiver and a denial. Mr. Speaker, we have stories of political connected donors, companies receiving waivers. Well, as the General lady from York County said, Main Street, Pennsylvania, denied. Some of it are completely illogical. Some of it are soul crushing. There is a national company, Carvana, that's advertising on our local television companies that you can buy their car and have it delivered to your house and test drive it for seven days. And if you don't like it, return it. Meanwhile, the auto dealerships in our state are closed for business. Mr. Speaker, who decides what is life sustaining? Who decides what is essential and non-essential? Can you imagine spending your entire life in a career, in a vocation, paying your taxes to this commonwealth, contributing to charities, doing a service or providing a product or a good or, or helping your customers to be told that what you do isn't essential? Mr. Speaker, someone smarter than me said, Every job is life-sustaining. And this morning I heard a doctor who said, physicians don't just treat the body, we treat the body, mind, and spirit. A job, a job is about how you feel. And right now we have created a situation in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania where people are feeling hopeless. Let them open, let them do it safely, let them follow all the protocols that the CDC and even our Department of Health has suggested. Let them stay six feet or social distance or 13 feet. Let them clean or wash their hands and social distance. Mr. Speaker, we are still a government of, for, and by the people. We, we get our ability to govern from the consent of the governed. We do not have a king. We are not governed from on high. We are governed from the people up. And we are losing the faith of the people of this state because they see the inconsistencies. They see the capricious and arbitrary manner. Mr. Speaker, the governor's family business is allowed to stay open while your family's businesses are closed. Mr. Speaker, I have faith in the people of Pennsylvania. Our ancestors came here to escape religious persecution our forefathers declared independence from the monarchy, monarchy just 100 miles from here in Philadelphia. Our mines and our mills, our plants and our farms have built America and continue to feed her. Our relatives fought and died for the cause of freedom in Gettysburg. And as recently as the beginning of this century, passengers on Flight 93 risked their lives to protect the ideals of freedom and liberty. We will defeat this pandemic, but let us do it on our terms. Let's not make the cure worse than the disease. Doing nothing is not an option. Let our people innovate, let them adapt, and let them overcome. Wash your hands, social distance, stay home, work from home, but let the people be free to do their jobs and run their lives. Have faith in the people of Pennsylvania. I sure do. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.